face as well. I don't like yeah. Skeletor. You should get naked and get dad to follow you. Like, it's the nightclub that we were also in three weeks ago till 6 a.m. and like 2,000 comments, so it's obviously made an impact. I sort of got backed into a corn in the hotel. of October. No, well, I feel bad because every single video in Vlogmas so far, everybody's just said it's actually still only October. But we need to be getting in the Christmas spirit, don't we? Yeah, we are, are filming back it up content because you want to do 60 videos and 30 days. Woo! Woo! I am, I am excited for Christmas. Can't wait. Love it. Best time of year. Perfect. Third time of year. Perfect. So, we are back with another photo challenge video. We've seen Sammy's, we've seen Mitchell's, we've seen Ashley's. We now have Main Man. Hey, main man still. brother. Well, the way this video works is I will ask Niall for a photo and then you'll show the photo and then we'll have a little bit of a chat about the time of the photo. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. So the first picture I would like to see, I'm also maybe tapping out of showing my own photos because I've already shown three lots of every single photo. However, the ones actually with you. Some of these are, show. like I picked them some with you and some yeah. like that there's a story behind. Yeah, perfect. You know I mean? First one is you as a baby. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> this is Niall and Neil, but Niall as a baby. Love it. I must be. When's that? Well, I'm, I'm, you tell me. I guess how old I am there. It must be weeks. Yeah, I bet you may be about eight week old there. It's got to still be in weeks. Even, what well, do you think, it's over a month? Yeah. A couple of months? Yeah. I'm tiny, man. Look at my dad's hand. Yeah. Like, dad's hands are the same you size should, as my hands. You should recreate that now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should get naked and get dad to hold you. I don't know about you. getting naked. Look how young dad looks as well. I know, yeah. Cool. Um, but yeah, that's me as a baby. Not much to the story other than I thought it was a cute picture. Probably the earliest one that I found. A kid, love it. Scouring through Facebook and whatnot. Okay, next one. You doing a handstand. Now, I've gone slightly different one that I found in an okay. album somewhere on my phone. This is me doing a handstand. Oh, look where that is. We are in Napa where we was exactly, whereabouts is that? The we were in wash. Napa like three weeks ago, outside the car wash. Outside the car wash, the so. nightclub that we were also in three weeks ago till 6 a.m. That's so good. What shoes, look. Mum, little slip-ons. Mum did used to dress us in some stuff. But look, it's almost got a little chubby belly look. I've got quite brown legs, to be fair. You did, you did do handstands everywhere. But yeah, I feel that, like that, in that, that age, of your life, you literally spent more time on your hands. Than yeah, hundred percent. It's one of those that I couldn't stop doing handstands ever until I like mastered it. See a cigarette butt right next to me. That was disgusting. But, um, but I would it's spend. Not the, it's not the perfect handstand shape, though. That, that's what I mean. Like, this is why I picked the picture because there's probably a lot of pictures of me in handstand. But I, Joanna's right. I would spend. So we were in Cyprus, I think. I think that's the time we went with Nan and Grand Surprise Nan and Granddad, so how old are we there? What year were that? It'd be like seven, six or seven. Seven. So I'm seven years old. Yeah, like very early days in my gymnastics, but I just remember spending probably 50% of my day that I could try to do a handstand. But there you go. That's definitely me as well. For those that wouldn't have just found a random kid <laughs> on the street doing a handstand. Cool, all right. Next one, a picture of you achieving one of your goals. Oh, which one was this? <laughs> I think it's... Uh, achieving one of my goals, now I picked this picture. Now for those that don't know, this is the thumbnail image for my mental health documentary, The Silent Battle. And recently I sp sprung upon it and watched a little bit of it and it just reminded me of how very proud I am of creating that film and how much work and effort and time and energy went into making it. And I've seen it's almost got a million views on YouTube, I've not sort of gone across it for two years. And like 2,000 comments, so it's obviously made an impact to a lot of people's lives, hopefully. And you're the star of the show in that, <laughs> bursting into <laughs> but yeah, knew I like, just thought I'd go left field because it could have easily just been like, yeah, Olympics or whatever. But that was a special goal for me to achieve and it was really impactful and great feeling. Thank Look, you. Your favourite memory with me. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I found this on my camera roll. I mean, me and Joanna had probably a lot of pictures to choose. I was like looking at the ones from our tw from your 21st, my 21st, your 18, things like that, some good images. But this specific day after the Commonwealth Games, I was invited to the Royal Box at Wimbledon on Sports Day. So the 
invite all the celebrity sports people on a specific day to the Royal Box and I got a plus one and I decided to take Joanna. And not your girlfriend at the time. And not my girlfriend. <laughs> and, and soon to find out, which was horrific, not my dad because... There were so many golfers there. We actually was sat next to and sat on a table to eat lunch with the golfing crew because there was only one gymnast that went. So I think it stuck us with the golfers, uh, which was Matt Kuchar, Sergio Garcia and Tommy Fleetwood. And if for those that know golf, are freaking mega golfers um, and my dad's a big golfer now. but yeah do you remember so we got there at like 11 and it was champagne on our arrival yeah, we were just and I was like, like yeah I'm gonna get Steven in it yeah. <laughs> and then we just couldn't believe the, the room that it, that we was in the box that like we went outside didn't we and checked the name there were a name tag on every yeah. seat and the seats were like cinema reclining freaking seats it just it was like it's one of those isn't it when you um, and everyone's the same the more you achieve or do or whatever in life the more you normalise stuff that actually is not normal yeah. so like we were just in this experience and this room of just the most unbelievable people that we've watched and we've idolised and we've Can we name some people? Like Jess Ennis was there, we had David uh, Adam Peaty, Jack there. Law, David Hay, Nicole Carl Adam, Frotch. Carl Frotch, all the golfers, um, a lot of footballers, yeah a couple more of the divers and we literally were just us. What you saying that is so right but that also it's normalised because when you actually meet these people who everybody idolises and they're almost there's an aura about them and they put them on a pedestal because they're famous, they are just normal people like yeah. me and you. So that, yes apart from the unbelievable room and dinner and yeah. free Dom Perignon Yeah, but ev ev everyone else was, was like, like, just as, yeah, we what were like, the hell, what the hell is this, is this? We, are. we were. Like, all of the people that were all A-list celebrities the whole day that we were getting with were just the right laugh and great people. And we were all sat inside watching the England football match in the World Cup instead of the semi-final at Wimbledon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then um, Sergio knew Nadal, so Nadal came up then we? Yeah, we got to we take got a, a picture of uh, Rafael Nadal, which is sick. Yeah. Um, we got so pallid and drunk that by the end of the day, when we was walking to our seats, uh, Sergio Garcia was like slapping me on the and giving me a wink as we walked past. Like I was a little, because obviously they were all there with the wives and me and Jay were there and we, I was what, 22 and yeah. you were 20. I was just a little bit cheeky chappy when I like, yeah. got a bit drunk, asked a few naughty questions and stuff. Yeah. Something you don't remember happening? Um, this is an interesting one. I actually picked this picture, which is me on the bar at Rio in the Olympic, Olympic final. final. The reason I picked this, because I, I assume lots of people are just picking drunken pictures, which I've got a lot of them, but when you're in that fight or flight, just moment of, can't describe how much pressure and adrenaline and yeah. fear and all of it you have. Going to like a flow state where your body just takes over. I can't really recall it and I experienced this at the Olympic Games. When we did the video with Max the other day, he was saying the same thing. He like, can't. the only thing he can remember is when he stuck his arm out and to land his dismount. And then the only thing I can remember is my feet hitting the floor, which is such a weird thing. I honestly can't mentally take you back to being on that bar. I remember landing and, and cheering, but I can't remember being on it. And I guess for those that have been in those situations in life, which I think you should strive to be in, will know I'm, we'll only know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I like it. I guess it'd be like, I think everyone understood. Did I explain yeah, that one? Yeah, no, I think that's perfect. All right, um... Don't remember it. A picture from school. Oh, I've got an interesting one. I got my prom picture. Oh, lovely. So I thought everyone would go young kids, so I was like, look at the state of me and Leary. That is on my prom. That, this is when I was struggling with uh, one of my eating habits, wasn't I? Yeah. I was so slim, skinny, and just small. You were the like suit, amazing. The suit used like... to fit me and it was like the biggest thing. I, like, I look like my face as well. I look like yeah. a skeleton. Um, and that was my prom date, Leah Carter. And you agreed in year seven that you were going to go to prom together, didn't you? We did. We were very good friends. Fortunately, she had a boyfriend throughout the whole school. So I never got to uh, take the relationship further. <laughs> Other than prom, king and queen. <laughs> we were king and queen. I was such a nerd back then. Wait, what year is prom? Yeah. Oh, I want to know that. I was cool kid by then. All right, okay. Um, you, when you first moved into your flat? I have a few. You want to pick your best? Either that one, that one, or that one. They're cool. All of them are cool. This one, this was one of those I posted on Instagram. Look at how empty it is. Completely empty. The floor's like the floor I think in it here. Looks better. Well, yeah, because remember there was a, there was the wall there, a door there. Yeah. It's, I've knocked it all out. The curtains were horrible. But yeah, I remember I'd, I'd just finished training at three o'clock and it was the day. It took so long from the point where I shook hands that I wanted to, that yeah, flat to, the, Fine. to get the keys. I got the keys and mum and dad met me there and I was just so excited to get in. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, and then also this one was the one we took with a drone. Well, from what we later found out, illegal to fly a drone around these areas. We set off the drone off the balcony and then got this pretty sick picture. That's cool. With like leads in the background. Favourite photo of the whole squad? Uh, I've got two and uh, one because it was recently in my camera roll, but the TED Talk picture. Yeah, I love that one as well. That's good. Isn't it? It's really good. I like the fact that mum and dad are in it too. Mum and dad are in it. But then we've got more of a squad eye thing. Uh, but my favourite picture is this one on the beach in LA. It's like the first day we got there. And there's oh, obviously, yeah. there's a few more people in that that aren't necessarily part of our squad. Some friends that we met. That's Em and sick. Jenna. But Louise and, <laughs> Louise Louise and Kristen. Kristen uh, with the air <laughs> <on> the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Which we, uh, Look at Louise. we were getting steaming at the back of the plane. I think I drank two bottles of white wine and invited um, them both to come meet, to us, come on the meet beach. us on the beach the next day. Perfect. And then they ended up coming back to us, didn't they? Yeah. Party, it was from that. But yeah, it. great pictures. Photo of you when you were at your lowest and nobody knew. Okay, I've got two. I am going to choose this one because it's more of a story behind it. This is in 2019 at the British Championships. I'd had my neck surgery at this point and like slowly coming back. We got like a box agreed and Tim Peak sorted me out. Me and the boys going through the underground like loading bay. It sounds a bit ridiculous but obviously at a gymnastics event, something like the British when there's 10,000 people there. You'd assume that the 10,000 people in there obviously know that I'm a British gymnast and have seen my YouTube videos, etc. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult to just walk into the arena without getting absolutely mobbed. So we managed to get back and we watched the thing and I was just drinking, drinking all day. And I was trying to avoid seeing people and then they got me down on the floor, did a bit of on the, the microphone. So I guess you'd assume that everything would be all right. We're having some drinks over the road at the hotel. That's where we were going to meet before. There's always a night out in there on the Saturday. And as I, I sort of managed to get out of the loading bay, the back again and ran upstairs and walked into the hotel the jury's in and then what seemed like in five seconds there was like 150 people around me like just running up to me i was really low at the point as well but i had struggled with anxiety and, I, and I, at the time as it sort of ramped up and i didn't think i were ever going to get through this queue of people and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and then you know what they're like at the front of the queue they're just like can i go next can i go next so like i sort of got backed into a corner in the hotel i tried not to show it and i managed to muscle through it but i was like almost having a panic attack just like i, c I can't like, please get away from it and i was and then I I managed to just get through everyone that was in that hotel. Got up to my room, like, I think I'd, I'd like, I had a bit of a tear just thinking, F that was horrible. And then went out to the bar and that's where this picture was taken. After that in the bar, after I've had another couple more drinks, I think I sent it to, I think I sent it to my ex-girlfriend because she sent me a pose. But in my head, mentally, I was just like in self-destruct mode that night. Yeah, I remember we came to see you the next day and you, we met you and Ash food. Yeah, I remember um, I was drinking the cider then when I'd let like, just walk up and carry on yeah. drinking. But that, that was like a really tough time so that's why I, that, I just remember that night and that story of just like having a mild panic attack when there was a hundred kids just asking for my autograph which maybe suggests that it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a moment where I'm on the lowest. Yeah. And then also the, the men's health photograph when I did this photo shoot you can see it's quite soon after my neck surgery with the scar and I can see my right pecs collapsed. Yeah. But obviously another really like bucket list moment I was on the cover of men's health and I was doing the photo shoot and I was just so low. I just I remember the day being, it felt like it took 24 hours to do like a two hour photo shoot and I just hated every second of it. There you go. And it's a sick picture though. I do look good, picture. but it was, it was horrible. But it wasn't horrible, it was just because of where my head was at. What about a photo of you in your happy place after those two stories? This one was hard, but I just had to choose an image like this one. Um, it's just a nice image that my camera guy took when I was training one day. It's me, it's completely irrelevant, but I'd describe my happy place as just being on the high bar. Whenever I was on there or like on a, in training in gymnastics, at their like time didn't matter. I just felt like I was free because of how much I love gymnastics and specifically high bar, which is my strongest event. And then you've obviously seen everything that I've, I've achieved or like done on high bar. Not in like competition, but <laughs> skill wise and I'd rather I would ch choose that in the gym because when you're there like from the moment I, ha I hung off on when I was a kid that whole journey to being able to do a casino or the skills that the releases and catch moves that I can do on there and I've done certain skills on there that are a bit blowing my trumpet here but no one's ever done my happy place is being weirdly hanging off a steel bar <laughs> <laughs> wonderful it's not many people's happy place I should be the polar opposite and completely disagree with that. Well, thank you guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I think this is going to be the final show me a picture video. We'll be seeing all the other squad members in various other videos throughout Vlogmas. Thank you, Niall. You're welcome. Thanks for having me on, as always. It's been mm. a pleasure. Love you guys. Remember to check out all the Just Work products in the description. Get yourself a new calendar for next year. Keep smashing it. And remember everything's possible. You just work. Bye. See ya. Yes.